Hello, welcome to the Mark Janard Show, the cybersecurity show. Man, the job market in IT right now. In this video, I'm going to discuss the several factors why there is a challenging job market in the information technology industry, the main factor driving the challenge, and the best strategies to stand out in the competitive IT job market, okay? I'm gonna show you how you can separate yourself from the pack. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So the IT job market is currently facing significant challenges with several uh, factors contributing to a tighter and more competitive landscape. What are those kinds of things? Market saturation. There has been an influx of qualified candidates entering the IT field, driven by perceptions of good pay, work from home opportunities, and relatively low barrier to entry. This has led to increased competition for available positions. You have economic factors, you have the tech industry, has experienced layoffs and hiring slowdowns partly due to economic uncertainty and a correction from the overheated hiring during the pandemic you have global competition uh, remote work has enabled companies to hire talent from around the world increasing competition for jobs and potentially driving down wages in some areas you have the changing skill requirements employers are often seeking candidates with specific combinations of skills and experience sometimes at lower salary levels than in the past. You have the impact of AI and cloud technologies. These advancements may be reducing the number of IT jobs required in some areas as companies explore ways to do more with less. So uh, one of the main factors I believe is remote work, right? So how does remote work impact the IT job market? The main factor, right? Expanded talent pool, right? Remote work has allowed companies to hire IT professionals from anywhere, greatly expanding the available talent pool. This has increased competition for jobs, but also opened up more opportunities for IT workers to find positions regardless of their location. You have increased job opportunities. There has been a substantial rise in remote IT job listings. A report by Flex Jobs noted a 159% increase in remote job listings over the past three years with this trend expect expected to continue you have the shift in job preferences the ability to work home remotely has become a major factor for many it professionals when considering job offers sometimes even outweighing salary considerations you have changes in productivity studies on remote work productivity in it have shown mixed results some research some research uh, has found productivity declines between 8 to 19 percent while others have reported gains of 13 to 24%. The variation likely depends on factors such as management practices and employee support. You have new skill requirements. Remote work has increased the importance of digital literacy and proficiency with collaboration tools. IT professionals now need to be adept at using various remote work technologies. Please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and like button. Please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and like button. You then have re rise in freelancing and gig work, right? Remote work has fueled growth in freelance and gig economy with an IT, creating up more opportunities for project-based work and multiple income streams. You have challenges in team dynamics. While remote work offers many benefits, it has also created challenges in maintaining team cohesion and fostering innovation. Companies are adapting to implementing new communication strategies and collaboration tools. You have impact on urban IT hubs. The shift to remote work has affected traditional IT hubs in urban areas as workers are no longer required to live in ex you know, expensive cities to access high paying tech jobs. Work-life balance. Remote work has offered IT professionals greater flexibility and improved work-life balance, which can lead to higher job satisfaction and potentially better retention rates. So in this aspect, overall, remote work has transformed the IT job market, offering new opportunities and challenges for both employers and employees. While it has increased competition in some areas, it also has created more flexible and diverse work arrangements in the IT sector. So what are the best strategies to stand out in the competitive IT market, right? You don't want to be like somebody else. You want to be stand out. You know what I mean? I got you. 
To stand out in the competitive IT job market, consider implementing these effective strategies. Well, number one, develop a strong online presence. Create a professional LinkedIn profile that highlights your skills, achievements, and endorsements. Share relevant content, participate in tech discussions, and engage with industry influencers to demonstrate your passion and expertise. You then want to showcase a diverse skill set while specializing is valuable. Having a broad set uh, a skill set, right? It makes you more versatile. Consider learning skills like cloud computing, data analysis, cybersecurity, and DevOps practices to broaden your appeal. Stay updated with latest trends, right? Regularly listen to tech podcasts, read tech blogs, and follow prominent tech news outlets to keep, you know, to, to keep informed of the latest developments in the IT industry. So, you're going to also want to build a portfolio, create a collection of projects, code samples, and open source contributions to showcase your abilities tangibly. This gives potential employers a better understanding of your skill sets. Network effectively, right? How can networking events help you uh, get your desired role in IT? Direct access to employers, right? Networking events can, you know, often feature representatives from companies looking to hire. This provides a direct line to potential employers, allowing you to make a personal impression that can be more impactful than a resume alone. You have industry insights, uh, attending industry specific conferences and summits can provide valuable insights into current trends, technologies, and opportunities in the IT sector. This knowledge can help you tailor your job search and make informed decisions about your career path, then building relationships, right? Because you, it, it pays to know, but it also pays who you know, you know, who, who you know, who you know. So networking events build excellent, uh, you know, networking events are excellent for building relationships with peers, mentors, and industry leaders. These connections can offer support, advice, and potentially job leads. Engaging with these individuals can also lead to referrals, which are highly valued by employers. So showcase your skills, right? These events can often include workshops, panels, and discussions where you can showcase your expertise and knowledge. This can help you stand out to potential employers and collaborators. Uh, I'm going to keep going, but just go, go the extra mile really in a nutshell, right? Expanding your network by attending networking events. You can significantly expand your professional network. This can be particularly useful in the IT field where, you know, who you know can be just as important as what you know. And then learning about job openings. Networking events can be a source of information about job openings that are not advertised publicly. Companies sometimes prefer to fill positions through referrals and pers you know personal connections made at these events. That is going to give you a, a sharp advantage, right? Enhancing your online presence, participating in networking events can also boost your online presence. Connecting with attendees on platforms like LinkedIn can increase your visibility to recruiters and hiring managers. You then have alumni networks. Leveraging alumni networks and associations can also be beneficial. These groups often host events and offer various resources that can aid in your job search. So here are some uh, tips for maximizing networking events. Prepare in advance. Research the event, its attendees and speakers. Have a clear goal and prepare your elevator pitch. Be proactive. Engage with as many people as possible. Ask questions and participate in discussions. Follow up. After the event, follow up with your new contacts to maintain and strengthen the connections you've made. Dress appropriately. Make a good impression by dressing appropriately for the event, okay? You know, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with a little black and white action. So by effectively utilizing networking events, you can enhance your job search strategy and increase your chances of finding a suitable position in the competitive IT job market. And contribute to open source projects, right? This is a nugget. This is a free nugget. Uh, this demonstrates your commitment to the tech community, enhances your coding skills, and provides another opportunity to build your network. And lastly, obtain relevant certifications. Certifications can validate your skills and knowledge, making you more attractive to potential employers. So that is what I have for you today. Please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and like button. Once again, if you like what you what you heard or you know what I said, please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button 
and like button i will gladly appreciate it is there anything that i did not disclose in this video that you think would be of value to people in the community please let me know in the comment section below because it's not about what i say it's about what you think as well so thank you for watching this video i appreciate your viewership stay safe and see you in the next video